fight coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. So here's the former world title challenger, the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Of course, you have shared the octagon with this man, and they don't pack much more power than this guy in this heavyweight division. No, some guys are blessed with a power that's just jarring. And Derek Lewis is one of those guys. He's so big, he's so strong, he's deceptively quick when he's in there, and he's unbelievably athletic. He will throw double kicks, and you think that he's going up with the left leg, but then the right leg lands, he throws the right hand from anywhere in the moment he lands. He can put your lights out, and it does not matter the time of the round. Yeah. Derek Lewis can finish at any moment in the fight. And he's a guy who's also been a real workhorse for the UFC. Made his debut back in 2014. He did have a recent knee surgery. Let's see how he comes out of it here tonight. most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center, in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of eight wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So real. This is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Oh! He 
needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Use your hands to set up that low Liver kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Tries the flying knee to no avail. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Nice straight right, Lance. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Relax. You're fine. It's just a little blood. We've been here before. You've been cut. No worries. We like the taste of our own blood. Now's the chance to go out. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, close guard now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Put your jab in his face. Right to the target, but 
see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he's still standing after taking that punch. Great shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Straight punch lands. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. his opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Final seconds here of round number two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, stop. Take a deep breath and relax. You're okay. Your head's a little buzzed. You got knocked down. This round, we're gonna get it back. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna shoot? Ooh, diving punch lands. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. That punch, no good. Nice punch lands over the top. Big inside kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh! Oh! Right hand punches the clinch. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. They continue to exchange. Oh! Derek Lewis! Yet another finish! It's over! It's over! What a performance! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at two minutes, 28 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you, right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.